Hey guys, it's Lori B. I just wanted to do a flip through of this cute little needle book. Her name is Birdie, and you'll know why in a minute. Um, this one is has a new owner, and I will be mailing it out tomorrow. And I'm still having laptop issues, so I finally got enough charge to to do this um, video. This is my second needle book, and I'm really enjoying making these. Um, a, a, a few different materials were used. I believe this was a, a, uh, oh, it's a linen, a vintage, maybe a tea towel, or it's cotton though, maybe a napkin, hand towel, something like that but it's it's embroidered this is a really really pretty delicate dolly this is a dolly as well this is some trim I love this trim I just ordered some more I got it from eBay and of course a flower which I tea tea stained this is some vintage ribbon and just various buttons, buttons in whites and creams. And this is a, um, what do you call it, upholstery fabric. It's actually from a sample. Really, really pretty French blue. And as you can see on the back, this look purple, but they're actually blue pretty blue. Um, I did another scissors pocket and I made this one a little bigger because I figured although these these uh, scissors come with it I thought maybe you the person people might have their favorite pair of scissors embroidery scissors or small scissors and I made it big enough to accommodate um, a different pair of scissors and there's a magnet down inside there that will hold your scissors in place. So here is um, the reason why she is called Birdie. This is a beautiful blue shell bead, Birdie bead. And these are actually from, <sighs> I, I, and this is just from what I remember or I don't know, maybe I made it up. Um, it's a fetish bead and that's just Native American. They would have all sorts of beads and there, there'd be bears, fish, different animals, and they were called fetish necklaces. And, uh, I found a really pretty one that had all blue beads and these are getting harder to find, um, that are made well. A lot of them, you can find them and you get them. You know, you order them and you get them and then they don't look anything like a bird, but they're supposed to be a bird. So you kind of have to be careful that what you're looking at um, in the listings, either on eBay or Etsy, that you are getting the ones that are pictured um, because some of them, they're, they're not created equal for sure. Um, it's got a little nest made out of lace and the little beads represent her eggs. And this is just a little tuck spot. This is another uh, doily or or maybe a dinner napkin. And I just put uh, some seam binding on there. All this is hand stitched. And I, I don't use a machine because I really enjoy hand stitching. And I get frustrated when I'm on the machine if it starts acting up. So to keep myself, just stay away from it because I do enjoy the hand stitching so much. That's what I, I stick with. And I actually like the character. Um, it, it just gives it more character when something is hand sewn to me. I love, I love machine sewing if my machine is acting right, but I would say 70% of the time something's wrong with the tension. So I just, I just avoid it. So all of these are sewn on 
um, I used in between the the layers I believe all I used was drop cloth a couple of layers of drop cloth and that's exactly what it is um, look up Amazon uh, drop cloth and there's different sizes and I use it for bases in uh, a lot of projects it's it's cheap it's you can use it as a a book cover you can cover a book with it you can use it as the inside um, I, I love it and I have a lot and I just put this little um, I'm not sure what that is I don't maybe it's French and I found these safety pins on eBay got a little enamel head on there and this one instead of tying closed it's got a snap Don't you love that fabric, both of them? Look at the sequins. This, this is, I, I, I'm normally not a sequin person. I like them, I just don't like messing with them. And this lace had the sequins already on it. And I was gonna take them off and then I just fell in, when I tea stained this lace, it's like a blue. Started out more blue and when I tea stained it, it's more blue green, which I really wanted. And I decided once I saw I saw it tea stained that um, it was really pretty with the sparkles. So you can see that it's so pretty. And this floral fabric was gifted to me from the lovely Tina T. And um, she, it was a pillow sham. And she split it with me, and I used it like that. I started using it that day. That's that's how much I liked it. But that's all one continuous piece and in between there is the uh the fabrics that i used on the front and then a couple of pieces of the drop cloth and the doily that's the whole doily the rest of it is linen and then this piece and i use heat bond to help me secure everything together and then i hand sew it together and you can see it's still very very pliable. I love that heat bond. I, I recommend it. I get that on Amazon as well. I use some lace and you can hook up some some safety pins on there. And I, I thought about putting a pocket here, but I love this fabric. I just couldn't do it. Just could not do it. It's so pretty. Really pretty blues, greens, cream, like a pinky red, although it's not red. It's more of a a pinky color it's coming out a little stronger than it is in real life and it is um st stitched together it was um quilted i just took the quilting part off i just didn't want that thick of a a book so a needle book is exactly what it says uh it's it holds needles but you also have uh room for it um I put a couple of pockets in mine just for other notions that you may want. You can use this for your book binding supplies, um, you know, thread, your linen thread, needles, scissors, you already have your scissors, um, just whatever you want to stick in here. Um, you can use it for any kind of needles or you don't even have to use it for needles. Just use it for something else, whatever you want to use it for. Um, maybe you have a collection of um, stick pens, something like that. You can put jewelry in here. Um, but they're really fun to make. So here is the first pocket. This is just a sheer, uh, sheer lace. And I attach these from a different lace. These are all sewn. And this is a really pretty blue it came out when I put pictures on Facebook it came out very green but it is a really pretty blue and I had completely forgotten that I had this um, material and I had gotten it for my curtains in my bedroom I made my own curtains and I did make I did make some out of this but then I decided on a different material and I made a big, huge pillow, like a 30 by 30 pillow out of this that hangs out on my bed. 
and I had a lot left over. So this is where the needles are actually kept. And I did all of the messy stitching around it. And I added this to it. I just thought she needed like a crown or something. She she just looked sad sitting there on the, um, the branch all by herself. And she, she kind of looks tired. She looks a little tired. So I gave her something to be excited about. And so I gave her like a headpiece. And I did all the stitching in here. I found the perfect blue to match to match her. So this just opens up. And again, this, this goes straight across. So this is one piece of fabric. This is one piece of the um, shear. And all I do once I get all my pieces ready and so and you know sewn the stitching all of it finished off I just sew down the middle that's it. it this is hand sewn I thought about doing it on the machine but I was really worried about it catching on the shear and you know the whole machine thing so I just decided not to do it but this is a a hundred percent I think it's called Murano felt it's made out of wool 100% wool and I like it a lot better than regular felt it's not so shiny and fake looking it's just a much more natural looking felt and I got that in can at a shop in Canada um, from Etsy so you just open it up and then I left these free so that you could you know easily put your needles in there or your straight pens and it's got two sides, and I just find that two two pages is enough for the sharp sharp implements. And then that just closes back up, and then the other side with a pocket, and you can put whatever you want in here, threads, um, buttons, whatever you want, whatever you want to put in here, you can. And there's the other side of that. Fabulous lace. And then this is a pocket which has a needle threader and a little backstory about these needle threaders. I was not happy. I ordered them from Amazon and the I made sure that the listing said pink needle threaders. And I got green and red and I was not happy. And I looked back on the listing and I read every single wording of that listing and nothing in there said anything about red and pink. It did not say assorted. It did not say you will get whatever color we send. It said pink. And I didn't get pink. And it's too much hassle to return them. And I probably will never get pink ones because they'll always send me another color. So I just kept it. But the nice thing about it being red is it's easily seen. And it has its own little pocket right there. Right there. That slips right down in there. And then this is a pocket. And this is just where some... Oops where some straight pins came off of. I think I might add maybe two or three, but I don't want anybody to get poked. And this was just a scrap of a hanky and, you know, part of a doily. And I'm going to include this uh, measure clip. And I'll probably hang a small tassel off this one. I forgot about that, so I'll probably hang a tassel off that. And the nice thing about putting this back here is that it it'll the the magnet is on the back and it'll it'll stay in there because it the magnet on the other side. So that is that. And I hope that Miss Mel likes it. And I'm actually going to be making another one of these. I, I found out I pretty much had the same supplies uh, to make another one for another friend of mine. Um, love her, and she's been so sweet about it. So I'm going to be working on another one of these. And then after that, I'll be working on another one that will be different. Different color. Um, probably the same style. Just uh, different materials used. So I hope you like it. I'm going to say bye for now.
and thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Say hello, Louie. Bye.